Welcome to the RackHD demonstration of an integration package called Shovel. The Shovel project was intended to develop a plugin ability for integrating RackHD's capabilities into an independent platform stack such as OpenStack. The Shovel plugin was designed to provide an integration path for the RackHD management orchestration capabilities as an augmented function to the existing MNO capabilities in the independent platform. And in this particular case, in this demonstration, we will be showing integration with Ironic as the existing MNO tool inside of OpenStack. At the conclusion of this demonstration, we will provide information on how you can become more involved in the RackHD community as we advance this technology through an open source community effort. This first demonstration is going to baseline what an OpenStack environment looks like without RackHD and Shovel integration. The environment used for this demonstration is DevStack with Ironic Bare Metal enabled. This will give an example of the current method OpenStack has today for bare metal utilization. You will see the current process for increasing available bare metal resources and how it is accomplished without RackHD's dynamic discovery and cataloging of resources. Here we start with the OpenStack Horizon login. Going to the Ironic Hypervisors tab, we can see all resources are fully utilized and we need to grow the environment. Today, Horizon and Ironic provide no graphical method to do so, so the API and CLI must be used. In this demonstration, we're going to use the Ironic CLI to add a new node. You can see the Ironic node create command, which requires specific hardware details like the IPMI address, IPMI username, and IPMI password. Next, we must run the Ironic port create command, which that requires the hardware MAC address. We're going to go to our Excel spreadsheet and grab the MAC address of the node we want to add. A typical place this information is stored would be an IT asset management tool, but many times it's just Excel spreadsheets like this. These tools often require consistent updates and can lead to stale and inaccurate data. A lot of times the data is in the wrong format like you see here. So though a simple process, you can see this process can be much more efficient and in our next demonstration we will show you how. This next demonstration is an overview of a project called Shovel. Shovel is a brokering service between OpenStack and RackHD. Shovel is the glue between bare metal hardware and the OpenStack infrastructure. Shovel enables RackHD to serve as the bare metal substrate for OpenStack deployments. In this demo, we will show the same workflows as the previous demo, plus additional features provided by a Shovel and RackHD enabled OpenStack. We will show how easy it is to dynamically discover and consume bare metal compute resources in an OpenStack environment. Once again, we start with the OpenStack Horizon login. This time, going to the Hypervisors tab, we can see a new bare metal tab has been enabled. In this new view, we can see the hardware resources dynamically discovered by RackHD and populated into the OpenStack Horizon interface. You can see the hardware model name, RackHD node ID, the MAC address, the hardware event counts, the current registration status, and a button to perform actions on each resource. On selecting a node name, we can see some of the RackHD catalogs. During RackHD's hardware discovery process, these details are collected, parsed, and stored so they can be accessed later via a REST API. In this shovel demo, we see only a small assortment of the catalogs available from RackHD's API. This is a sample of the data that can be utilized to make informed decisions regarding the hardware in your environment. At the moment, there are no resources being utilized by OpenStack. In order to add resources, we're going to utilize Shovel and RackHD. In this interface, you can see a lot of the fields are auto-populated. Shovel uses the RackHD catalogs to populate the fields and only requires you to put in basic information that's necessary. You can see in this video, we're selecting the proper driver, selecting the proper images, and making sure to select the right MAC address based on what was in the catalog data. We're also going to define an event trigger. So in this case, we're putting correctable ECC, but this is something that could definitely be defined via JSON or XML to match on common hardware errors and alert an administrator or take prescribed actions on the hardware. So we just registered a node with Ironic, taking it out of RackHD's control. Even though it's still being monitored for hardware events and different alerting, it's now under the control of OpenStack. You can see that it's populated into the hypervisors and we now have resources available. Now that we have those resources, 
we'll look at instances and see that we have no instances launched. So we'll go to images, and here you can see all the images, and we'll just launch new instance. We're going to give it an instance name and keep most of the defaults in place here. We're going to assign regular networking and launch that instance. As you can see, the instance is successfully launched, and now the instance is spawning. We've used some time lapse here to save time. At this point, you can see the instance is running. Going back to our hypervisors tab and looking at the bare metal, we can see that we've utilized all of our resources. So in order to grow the capacity, we're just going to register another node. As you saw in the previous demo, we're going to select the right driver, deployment kernel, correct MAC address, input the default information we need, and register a node. So the node's been successfully registered, and Nova will pick that up, and you'll see that our resource constraint is now taken care of. Next, we'll discuss the events column. When we registered the node, we defined correctable ECC as a triggerable event. You can see we have zero events triggered now. RackHD monitors the node for hardware events, so we'll inject an event and see how it propagates in the OpenStack dashboard via RackHD and Shovel. The event's been injected, and now you can see we've taken one error. Inspecting the error further, you can see we've taken a correctable ECC Below you can see a history of all the events that have taken place, with the latest being a correctable error. Here are some potential actions an administrator might take on a failed or problematic node. That concludes the demo, and if you would like to learn more about RackHD, visit us on our GitHub page.